I didn't really know what to shoot today throughout the day. I had my camera with me and every time I picked it up to shoot, I was just didn't know what to say and didn't know what would be fun and everything. And then kind of lost track of time throughout the day. I ended up going swimming and then went out for um, my sister's fiance's birthday, Sam. Sam's birthday. And we went to this place called uh, the Anza Club. I've, I've been there. There's two levels. There's an upstairs and a downstairs. Upstairs is all right. Downstairs, I had never been, and it was tons of fun. And anyways, we went there. Um, I had one sip of beer. I don't drink almost ever. Um, I don't do drugs, and I don't smoke. Um, just... Just, it's just because I choose not to. Not because I don't like it or that I'm against it. Um, yeah. And that the one taste of beer, it, was, it tasted all right. It was very citrusy. Anyways, I'm going to share with you a hobby that I have that I like. I collect uh, gold and silver coins, um, silver jewelry, gold jewelry. And I have begun to buy gold, um, gold bars. And I'm going to be buying silver bars. These are three, what are these, one-tenth ounce? Um, yeah, these are one-tenth ounce uh, gold bullion coins. I have three of them. And I have another. And this is a ring that I have. I bought it. Um, my sister worked at a gold and jewelry place. And I bought it. They had it. They were selling it, and I think it was a pretty decent price. The gold ring with a gold coin in the middle there, and I almost never wear it. I keep almost all my gold and jewelry and stuff like that, or gold and silver jewelry, in separate plastic bags. And I don't know. I'm like kind of weird. I keep things very weird and. They're not necessarily organized, they're just separated from each other. That's just the way I like it. Anyways, I bought this gold bar. It's a one ounce gold bar. It's a Royal Canadian Mint bar. And I put the date that I bought it. I bought it November 9th, 2015. I paid $1,495 for it. That's uh, it's a lot of money. Um, but I like spending money. And I used to spend money and I would buy stupid things. I would buy shoes and clothes and um, brand new shoes, brand new jackets, brand new t-shirts and stupid stuff like that. And go and spend money on tons of food that I didn't need to eat just because I wanted to spend money on food. And I realized that what the habit that I have, um, one, one might say it's a bad habit, but I like to spend money... And there came, there was a point in my life where I felt that I could never hold on to money. And it just, like, what's, I, th I think the adage is that it slips through your fingers like water. And I, and I had a very difficult time saving money and putting money aside. When I got it, I would automatically sell or spend it and buy stuff. And buy useless things, literally useless things. Um that weren't worth anything after the fact. So then um, my sister, she was working at a gold and jewelry place or gold and silver and jewelry um, shop in Vancouver. And I went in there and they were, and they sell, they sold uh, silver coins and gold coins and um, silver jewelry, gold jewelry, all sorts of different precious metal things. And she got me, she introduced me to um, silver bullion coins. And this here is a Royal Canadian Mint Silver, one ounce silver bullion coin. This is from 2008. Um, and this is uh, the Vancouver 2010 coin. They made a bunch of them, uh, the Vancouver, or sorry, the, man, I'm very, very tired. Um, the Roy Royal Canadian Mint made some specialty ones for the 2010 Olympics that were coming up at the time. Um, this is another Olympic one. This has a different design on it. So this is also from, oh, does it have a different, no, it doesn't have a different design. <laughs> it's from 2008. This is, I love this design, and it has, uh, I don't remember. I don't think it's Hyde, uh, but I don't remember. I feel so ignorant. 
Anyways, this one is also another Olympic design coin. And I have a ton of different, not a ton, I have a lot of different um, silver coins. Um, I have a few gold coins, I have gold rings. Um, so anyways, what I'm trying to say is that um, when, when I started buying silver, um, I was buying silver coins at between 14 and $17 per ounce. Um, or that's how much the coin was, that's how much the coin cost me actually, about $17 per coin. Um, like three years ago or two and a half years ago or something like that, um, silver, um, the spot price for silver per ounce was up to about $40. Um, so if you would have bought silver at around $20, um, you would have doubled, doubled your money. And it's volatile, just like the stock market is. And it's, I think that it's a better investment for my money to buy gold and silver coins and hold on to them. And hopefully they appreciate in value um, than leaving my money in the bank in a savings account. I do have a savings account now, but I think that the savings would go further if I were to buy silver and gold coins with that money. But... I have to have a savings account if I want to buy a piece of property, and my goal is to buy a piece of property um, sometime in August, September, October, and so I have to have a savings account, I have to have money in the bank, and I have to show them that I, I am able to qualify for a mortgage. So that's why I have money in the bank, is to do those steps so that I'm able to buy a piece of property. Anyways, back to the, the gold bar. So this one ounce gold bar, I bought it November 9th, 2015 for $1,495 Canadian. Um, if I would want, if I were to, here, I actually have the prices right here. I looked at them just a few minutes ago. If I were to buy a one ounce gold bar, the exact same kind today, which is uh, January 23rd, um, it would cost me fifteen hundred and ninety five dollars so almost a hundred dollars more so from the from November 9th until January what's the date 20 I just said it um January 23rd so what's that two and a half months I made a hundred dollars roughly um I I might eighty dollars say I made eighty dollars because I could probably sell this for an eighty dollar profit um if I were to put $1,500 in the bank, I would not see $80 in two and a half months. I need to cut my fingernails. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have made $80. So for, for myself, um, I was able to spend the money because I have a bad habit of spending money needlessly um, and buy something that I like. This is a hobby that I enjoy. and. I think it's a positive way of spending money because I spent, I literally spent $1,495 um, to buy this gold coin or gold bar, sorry. And if I wanted to, tomorrow I could sell it for about $100, between 80 If I really want to sell it, I could make $80 on it. If I wanted to wait to see if somebody would want to buy it, I could probably make $100 on it. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I could... I could take that hundred dollars and then then use that for whatever if I wanted to or that sorry that sixteen hundred dollars and and use it for whatever so I made a hundred dollars in a month and a half of doing nothing so yeah oh man I'm rambling so my savings account wouldn't get me there if I put my money into stocks um I don't know if I would if I could make that much money definitely with more work I could um, if I were to put it into a foreign exchange, foreign currency exchange, that is something that you have to really, really learn and study and study and study and study to get good at to be able to make money. Um, there was a foreign or there was an investment conference a couple of years ago in Vancouver, and I heard a story of a, of a guy who was at the investment conference, and I, I th like I'm, I'm certain these are the numbers. I may be wrong, but. I'm pretty sure these are the numbers. He started with, I think, $75 or, say, $750. Either way, he brought his money up to over $100,000 in one year um, because he just dedicated his time at foreign currency exchange. He just studied and studied and studied 
and looked at every chart that he could, foreign currency chart, and just compared and bought and sold and bought and sold and bought and sold. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. But he had to put a lot of work into making that money. Given, I'm sure the payoff is well worth it. And you just have to, you, you, you have to be in charge of every penny that you have. So this is one way that I can put money. I could take almost $1,500 and I can buy something. And I could just keep it and just make sure that it's safe. Um, and I made $100. I could have lost $100 very easily. But at the time, I felt that $1,495 for a one ounce bar was a good price. This is Canadian dollars. Um, yeah. American dollars is another story. Um, yeah. I, I felt that it was a good price. Um, I probably will not sell this. Um, if I buy one or two more of these, um, hopefully the price goes up for them. The value goes up, I mean. And then, um, oh, hey, Bambi. Hey. You want to come say hi? Hello. Hi. Come here. Hey. What? How are you? He's very camera shy. Hey, you okay? He's camera shy. And yeah, so anyways, so I have a bunch of silver coins and I love silver coins. And in the United States, you can go through your, you can go through your half dollars and your quarters. And there's so many coins printed in the States that, oh, this one's cool. I really like this one. This one's, uh, a Liberty um, coin. It's an American silver coin. I really like. Um, my grandma's name is Liberty, and I personally love the Statue of Liberty. Not that it has anything to do. It, well, I don't love it because it has anything to do with my grandma. It just is a coincidence. And then here, let's see. This is a Canadian silver quarter, and I found that in my change. This one here is a Canadian silver dollar, which I love. I absolutely love this silver dollar. It has a totem pole on it. This I, I really do enjoy that coin a lot. I used to carry that in my pocket all the time. And this one is an American, American silver half dollar. Yeah. I, if, if I could, I, I don't know, when I was in California, I drove through California and I was I went to every bank and talked to <clears throat> so many cashiers and people who were just selling stuff and asked them if they had half dollars because I like half dollars um, and two dollar um, notes. I have a bunch of two dollar um, notes. But yeah, so you can find those. Here's a Canadian silver dime. I found a silver dime. This is about two years ago. Yeah, just a, almost exactly two years ago. Um, we had a bakery in Vancouver. It's called Liberty Bakery, <clears throat> named after my grandma. And uh, there was a silver dime in one of the tip jars. And I asked her, oh, can I have that silver dime? And she said, yeah, take it. So I put it in my pocket. I had it, had it in my pocket for like three, four, or five days, something like that. Maybe more, maybe a week. Actually, no, probably about five days. And uh, yeah, I was on the bus and I was telling myself, okay, don't put the silver coin in. Don't put the silver coin in. Or waiting for the bus, I should say, and telling myself, don't put the silver coin in, don't put the silver coin into the bus um, change thing to get on the bus. And as I pull the money out of my pocket and I'm dumping the change into the machine, I totally forget to not put that silver coin in there. And as I drop it and it's making a very distinct sound compared to a regular dime and it's going into the coin accepting w slot or whatever... And I hear it, and it's going into the machine, and in my head, I'm like, you idiot, because a silver coin or a silver dime is worth way more than 10 cents. So anyways, I'm out one silver dime. You owe me a silver dime, universe. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That's one hobby that I really, really do enjoy. Oh, he's sleeping. Bambi. Oh, he woke up. Hey, you. Yeah, so anyways, that's a hobby that I really enjoy. Um, I love collecting coins. And when when every single birthday, every Christmas, every time there's a gift 
every every time anybody asks me oh um about a gift i say okay get me a silver coin um because i like silver coins and i like collecting them and because there's so much value in a silver coin if someone gives me twenty dollars or forty dollars or however much um yeah, um, my grandma usually gives me about a hundred dollars, or not about, almost exact, not almost. Every birthday and every Christmas, my grandma and my grandpa give me, my sisters, and my two cousins a hundred dollars. Always, no matter what. So anyways, um, yeah, so when I get that hundred dollars, I take that hundred dollars and I usually use it um, to pay off a bill. Or I will take it, and this has only happened a few times, and I'll go and buy coins with, with that money, um, because the coins are to me worth more than that hundred dollars. So, anyways, I think I'm now rambling, and yeah, that's another side of me. Not a lot of people know that. Um, well, maybe a lot of people do. When people talk to me, I talk about silver and gold a lot, and silver and gold coins, and. Yeah, and I collect other coins, like coins from around the world, and bills, and I don't know, I have old Canadian bills, and old American bills. I don't know, I just like those things, I think it's fascinating. So anyways, this video is getting pretty long. Um, I will take my camera tomorrow, and I will film a bunch of stuff, I'll go to the beach with Bambi, or, actually I don't know, maybe I'll go to Lynn Canyon with Bambi. I haven't decided yet. Anyways, I should get to sleep. Um, I'm pretty tired. I went swimming today. Um, I don't know why I'm so tired. I think I, I haven't eaten very well today. Tomorrow, I should eat, eat, eat a lot. And, yeah. So, tomorrow, um, so it's either Lynn or the beach. Actually, it's probably going to be the beach. And then, clean a bit. And then, what else do I have to do? Drop Bambi off with Sarah. And then, um, and then go snowboarding, and if there is time, um, go swimming. I don't. Th I'm anticipating that I will not have time to go swimming tomorrow, which is unfortunate. But I don't know. Maybe things will work in my favor. And then I'm on set on Monday. Um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm wor working on the 100. That should be a lot of fun. And okay, this. Ah, oh, he woke up. He was sleeping. Okay, I'm going to get to sleep. Bambi's obviously very tired. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Love life. Bye.